Hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the series. Welcome back to Football Manager 2023 with me, your host, Dean or KGM. Uh, welcome back to our epic quest across Europe where we're trying to win the top flight division in each of the European nations in the game. There's 33 in total. We've made it to the final five. As you may know from the last episode, we are in France as the manager of Lyon. Uh, and we, we've had a decent season. Unfortunately, PSG are the champions again. Uh, we've reached the end of our first season here. Of course, we joined halfway through the season. So we do have a couple of things to run through, which we'll, we'll quickly blast through the, uh, the the fixtures that we've played so far. We've made no other signings, nothing like that. In terms of the club financially, we have lost a lot of money, but we do have a transfer budget of £30 million for next season. So let's get into it. Of course, you were here when we first took over, and that was the games against Lons and Nice both of which we won and we have had a fantastic time of it uh, since then in the next game PSG we beat them 1-0 uh, away from home at the the Parc de Prince uh, Pedro Paz with the only goal of the game in the 16th minute and PSG probably edged the game but we were you know we were value for money we we did it was a close game we got the only goal of the game uh, so therefore we deserved the win, uh, we we then took on Covena Fesda in the Champions League, 0-0 in that one. Beat, I think that's pronounced Trois. It's spelt Troyes, but I think it's pronounced Trois. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. A 5-0 win, Garcia and Fortes hit four in this one, which was fantastic. Beat Sevilla 4-1 in the Champions League, which was very, very good. Beat PSG again in the Coupe de France, which was, again, really good. We we were definitely deserved this one. Renda and Fortes with the goals. Uh, so that was very, very good to pick up two wins against PSG in quick succession. Montpellier in the league, 3-0 in this one. Fortes and Nequeza, who is another player who's on loan from Real Madrid, uh, battered, battered Montpellier. Uh, so a fantastic win there. We were we made it through to the knockout uh, round, playoff round of the Champions League, where we came up against Ajax. We went away from home to the Amsterdam Arena. And unfortunately, got thumped 3-0. Couldn't rectify that in the home leg with a 0-0 draw, so we were out of the Champions League. But it was a decent chunk of money coming in. In between the two Ajax games, we did have a draw in the league against Saint-Étienne, which was disappointing. We had to rescue it late on. Uh, Sam back here with the goal. Saint-Étienne, I believe, are a, a derby uh, for, for Lyon. It was, a, it was a disappointing result, really. Uh, but, you know, derby games, things like that can happen. Nantes, we're next up in the league. 4-1 in this one. The Quays with a hat-trick and Cocolo. Uh, got himself on the score sheet. Another really, really good win. Beat Brest 4-0 in the Coupe de France quarter-final before losing our first league game as manager, and it was away to Marseille. Uh, it was it was quite disappointing, really. Um, yeah, we didn't really get going in this game, unfortunately. Uh, so that, that was very, very disappointing. Knocked out of the Coupe de France semi-final as well by Ken, uh, which, was, again, was disappointing. Beat Reims in the league. 2-0, Pedro Paz with both the goals from left-back before losing to Wren in another disappointing performance. Uh, only the one shot on target from a Leon point of view. So that was highly, highly disappointing. Uh, have returned to an unbeaten run since then, though. With a, started off with a 3-0 home win against Monaco, Sambaque and Fortes with the goals. Backed that up with a 4-1 win over Strasbourg. Nicueza Almeida with a double and Sam Bake on the score sheets again. Uh, and we continued our goal scoring form after that with a 5-0 win over Brest. Cocolo, Nicueza, Loon and Angelin with the goals. 2-1 against Bordeaux. We had to rescue this one late on. They went ahead in the 49th minute before we got a 74th and 87th minute penalty uh, to secure the victory in that one. Followed that up against Ajaccio uh, with a 3-0 win. Nicueza and Cocolo with the goals in that one. And then drop points again to Lille. Uh, Okafor with the goal for Lille. Again, we had to come from behind to, to get the equaliser through Nicueza. And then we've taken on Lance again. 3-0 in this one. Nicueza with a double and Fortes on the score sheet. So like I say, PSG are the champions. They are currently nine points clear of us. They do have a game in hand. So we've sort of kept the gap between us and PSG the same. Next season, if we can have a decent start and not let them get that gap, then I do think we're in with a chance. Of course, we can reinforce the squad as well. Ren are three points behind us, but they do have that game in hand over us. Uh, so second place is still not secure. I think we're safe from Marseille in fourth place, though. So we've got the final two games of the season today before I go off and do the all the, the off-season stuff, the pre-season stuff like that, before we come back and have a, 
a full season crack at France next season. So we're going to finish the season off today though guys against Nice and then Metz. We're away from home against Nice. Of course, the last game you saw was against Nice as well. It's just the way the fixtures have fallen, guys. Absolutely nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, but hoping to finish the season strongly and secure that second place. And this is the lineup that we're going to try and do it with. It is going to be Matthew in goal. Adrian Border, Yavari comes in at centre-back. And we've got uh, Aispura as the left-back for today. Paz has actually got a little bit of an injury. But Aispura, 34-year-old Frenchman, uh, he can still do a job for us, which is handy. Yavari, of course, comes in for Loon, a 31-year-old Iranian. He's a very, very good central defender, so quite pleased to have him as a backup. In midfield, we've got Kern. Kern is a, another ageing Frenchman. We've got a lot of ageing players in this squad, so we do need to do some work in the off-season. Alongside him is our only signing as the manager of Lyon and his 23-year-old uh, Kevin Angelin, who is developing quite nicely, is a very, very good player, good signing. Rodriguez on the other side again is a, is a fairly reasonable. Segundo Volante uh, it does quite well for us. Uh, does the 25 year old Spaniard? Left side is Nicuesa. Now he's not really very good out here on the left side. Lack of options though, uh, but he has done quite well when he's played for us this season as a striker. He's got 14 and 17 in the league, 20 and 24 altogether. Sam Bakke, of course, who is on loan from Real Madrid. So we've got the two wingers are both on loan from Real Madrid. Uh, it's done okay, 12 and 23, only only three assists and they've all come in the Coupe de France, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, so these are two positions that we do have to look to uh, to fill for next season. Uh, and then we've got Fortes up top, who again is, is 20 and 24 in the league, 21 and 36 in all comps. is not really great for a striker for us. You know, we, we've had strikers in the past that have comfortably hit 30, 40 goals in a season. So again, this is possibly an area especially with that value where we could maybe look to strengthen just a little bit. So as we get the game underway down here on the French Riviera, looking to wrap up this season uh, and secure that second place spot. Like I say, I've been quite encouraged by the fact that PSG have not really extended that gap to us. And we've sort of kept it the same and the fact that we've beat them twice as well in the games we play for them sort of leads us in good stead going into next season where we're hopefully we can actually mount a title challenge. But uh, we do get our first highlight of the game. It is for Nice. It's a corner. Uh, which Joel Chavalier has put into the back of the net, unfortunately, for his 11th goal of the season. And we find ourselves behind in the 24th minute, which is not ideal, really, when we're trying to secure that second spot and, of course, Champions League qualification uh, and the prize money that comes with that. Looking to get back into it ourselves, though. Adrian with a throw-in down by the corner flag. Finds Angelin. Ball in by Adrian. Comes to Rodriguez with a header from the edge of the area. Fortes helps it on, but he can't keep it down. So as the half-time whistle goes, guys, it's, uh, it's been very, very disappointing so far from, from a Leon point of view. We've not hit the target yet. We've had more of the ball, more corners. Uh, just disappointing not to hit the target. You know, Fortes is not playing great. Nicuesa, I may have to look to make some changes, possibly on the hour mark. We're going to get shouty at the boys, though, at half-time. Hopefully, uh, we can spark them into life. And we do get a kick-off highlight straight away. And it is Ice Pura uh, with the ball. Finds Yavari, of course, the two standings. Uh, for today, Yavari bringing it forward, finds Rodriguez, comes back inside, back to Yavari, can he pick out a pass, comes to border instead, switches it to the right, and Adrian's got a little little bit of space to move into, he does have players ahead of him, the first have been Angelin, little clip ball forward towards Sam Bakke, he's headed clear by the defender though, but we do pick it back up, and now it's Rodriguez with a ball, effort from the edge of the area is woeful, and it's gone, it's gone miles over the bar really. But we're still piling the pressure on early in this half. Sam Bakke with the free kick. It's saved by the goalkeeper. And the defender puts it out for a throw-in to Leon. Again, applying the pressure early on in this second half. It's Adrian to take the throw-in. Finds Sam Bakke. Back to Adrian. Ball across towards Rodriguez, who's clipped the top of the crossbar. And it's gone over for a goal kick. So approaching the hour mark, we have now made that change. We've brought Fortes off. Moved Nicuesa up front. We've got Camacho out on the left-hand side. Again, another one who's not really... Suited to play in there. He is a striker slash attacking midfielder who we have agreed to sell at the end of the season, by the way. Uh, so we've got a little bit of money coming in there. We play that ball forward towards Nicuesa who gets a little bit lucky with the ball back off the defender. Has the effort, but the other central defender there got back to him and the, the, the effort was deflected up into the goalkeeper's hands. Uh, still not really uh, not really going according to plan here, guys. Uh, which it never seems to do at the end of these seasons on a camera. We always seem to struggle just a little bit. Of course, we're not trying to secure a league title this time. We're trying to secure second place. And you can see that Marseille are winning. Uh, I believe Rennes are drawing. 
unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately for us, they were winning earlier on. But we're going to approach the end of this game now, into injury time, and it does look like we're going to going to lose one nil uh, down on the French Riviera. That's uh, that's very very disappointing. We we never really got going. We've had to, five point nine at left back as well. We need Paz back from his injury. Nineteen shots, only two on target is not really good enough. So after that game, guys, we do maintain our second place in the table. Uh, of course, we're not guaranteed that yet. Still, Marseille and Rennes are only just two points behind us, so we do need to a win in our final game. It is against Metz, who are currently down in 13th position. They're safe from relegation, so it's a little bit of a dead rubber for them, but we've still got something at stake. Uh, of course, the game is in around about seven days' time, so I'm going to go forward, play through those seven days now. We'll come back and we'll wrap up our first season here in France, so catch up with you guys again in just a minute. Right then, guys, welcome back to the final game of the season where we're hoping to secure second place of course we are at home to Mets we have made some changes to the lineup for today and we bring Loon in for Border in the central of defence this one's really about squad rotation uh, really uh, I know Border he's, he's shown as match fit and he is fit as well but it's the final game of the season I just want to you know get, get the job over the line uh, of course the starting lineup normally is Border and uh, loon. In fact, do you know what? We'll go for Border and Loon. Let's go for it. So it's our pretty much standard back four. It's Adrian, Loon, Border and Paz uh, is, is the back four. Matthew continues in goal. Render comes back in as the defensive midfielder for today in place of Kern. Render is, is the much, much better player. So we'll, we'll get Render in there. Uh, again, it's we've got Nequeza out on the left-hand side, which I don't really want. I'm going to put Zhao Almeida in there. Has been injured, as you can see. He's still coming back. Uh, he's not quite match fit, but we're going to have Almeida there. Of course, the man on loan from Benfica. Kokolo on the right-hand side. Uh, again, he's he's played started eight, three goals, six assists. So he's had a fairly decent season. Has the 24-year-old uh, Frenchman there. Uh, so he's going to get the nod today ahead of... Uh, who do I play on the right? Sambake, who is suspended, unfortunately. Uh, and then it's going to be William Wilson Fortes up top. So hopefully we can get second place over the line. One other thing to note as well is that PSG did win their game in hand. So they have actually moved 15 points clear of us at the top, which is it's slightly more than what it was when we did take over. I think it was 11 points when we took over. Uh, so we've, we have fallen slightly behind. Of course, that, that defeat there in that final that last game against Nice has not helped we get our first highlight of the game though in the 17th minute and it is Metz giving us the ball it's angling uh, finding Adrian who won the initial header Loon into Render Lune again out wide to Adrian down the line towards Kokolo chops back finds Render in the middle comes back to Lune again into Angelin Lune Render Ball over the top towards Kokolo, brings it down on his chest and he's hit the outside the post. I think he was given offside anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. Uh, but it was a nice little bit of build-up play there from the Lyon players. Uh, and we get our second highlight of the game. It's it's 27 minutes in, it's Adrian picking up the ball over the top again. Comes inside to Lune, Angelin, Angelin out wide to the right and Kokolo. Kokolo inside to Rodriguez, a little bit of space. Got Almeida on the left-hand side, good ball forward towards Wilson Fortes, who puts the ball in the back of the net for his 22nd of the season Zhao Almeida picking up the assist there and with 27 minutes on the clock we do now take the lead which would guarantee us that second place I do think that with a draw is enough with the goal difference that we've got over Marseille and Ren anyway but uh, it's it's nice to just to just make sure isn't it of course we keep that gap down to PSG who are drawing away from home and it keeps it at 13 points as Kokolo delivers that corner it's cannoned off the defender and the goalkeepers had to clear it off the line to keep it out the net from 2-0 but Kokolo gets the ball again uh, we're going to get that goal line technology with the, the absolutely pants camera angle where we can't see whether the ball's on the line or not uh, but uh, a little bit of a let off for Mets there nearly a calamitous own goal and as we just approach the half time whistle it's Mets with the ball deep free kick uh, it's a read finding Samir bringing the ball down the right hand side it's a good cross but it's there's nobody there to, to collect it and Adrian does pick the ball up can he go down the line he's got uh, angle in ahead of him comes back to Lune Lune goes long it's a shocking pass though and De La Cruz cuts it out but we have won it back through Render now Fortes Almeida again he's got four white shirts ahead of him make that five now with Render joining the attack Almeida going by himself it's a great tackle by 
Dumont. It looked like a great tackle to me anyway. Let's uh, let's just get the, the customary VAR check out of the way, of course. Wouldn't be a game of Football Manager 23 without VAR. It looked like a fantastic tackle. I, okay. No idea why that's a penalty. It looked like a great tackle from Dumont, but we've got the chance to go 2 0 up. It's Render from the penalty spot, and he calmly, calmly slots it in to the bottom corner for his second goal of the season. Uh, highlight straight from the kickoff, though. We're still in injury time at the end of the first half. The referee has not blown for, for, for half time yet. Uh, it's, it's Mets with the ball again. We've pinched it, though, through Fortes, who's bearing down a goal. Finds Cocolo back to Fortes to make it three. It's a great save by the goalkeeper Suarez there to keep Mets somewhat in the game. Uh, and at half time, uh, it, it's been a very, very good performance so far from Leon. Mets have had chances, but nothing of note. Uh, but we're, we're doing really, really well. Fortes, ball forward, clip towards Almeida, brings it down on his chest, driving towards that byline, checks back, comes back inside, inside the penalty area now. Is he going to have an effort? He is. It's deflected off the defender into the arms of Suarez uh, for a comfortable save there for the goalkeeper. But we are doing enough to secure this second place, guys. Uh, Cocolo with this free kick, looking for Luna. He's headed clear, and now there's a chance for Martinho to break. He's all by himself, though. Nobody really went with him, and, and Boyo now on the left-hand side. Tackled by Render. Render's having a really, really good game, is the Italian. Finds Adrian with the ball. Lune weighs up his options, takes his time, feeds it down the line towards Cocolo. Comes inside, angling. Back to Adrian, a little bit of space on the right hand side. Can he deliver the ball into the box? He can't towards Fortes, who puts it in the back of the net for his 23rd of the season. And in the 56th minute, it is a game over. It's Leon 3, Mets 0. Mets still looking to get something of consolation from the game, though. It's a Dumont who gave away the, the dubious penalty, uh, shall we say, to take this corner in the 72nd minute. It's a, it's a deep one, headed clear by Adrian. Only as far as Diallo. Diallo with the effort, it's... Uh, it was a good effort from Diallo, just didn't really trouble Matthew in goal. Uh, and as we wind down into the final 15 minutes of the game now, uh, it is pretty much guaranteed that we are going to finish in second place, which, like I said, it, it's good for prize money. It's Champions League football next season. Uh, and 15 points behind PSG is, is, is a little bit of a gap to close up, but hopefully we can have a decent off-season. As Cocolo stands over this free kick, and it's, it's a good one. Suarez does bat it away, though. And we get the chance to get the ball back into the box, which is cut out again. One back by Almeida has the effort deflected off the defender, and Suarez comes and claims that one. So then, guys, we do complete the 3 0 win. Fortes and Render with the goals. And that does confirm our second place in the table. 34 games played, 69 points on the board, positive goal difference of 45, which is pretty decent. PSG's is only 58. Of course, we've only been here for 20 games of the season, really. 19, I think, we've had in total. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. We did take over with the club down in 7th place, I believe, with, with everybody having played 15 games. So, yeah, reasonably pleased with that. Of course, we do have a lot of work to do during the summer, which financially we should have had some prize money. We do indeed. Uh, so we're not doing too bad financially. Of course, we've got Champions League football uh, next season as well. I, I, I believe we've qualified for the Champions League. Yes, we have. Uh, so that's really good. French France being the, the second highest coefficient league in Europe is really helping out with those Champions League spots. Uh, I, I imagine we'll go straight into the group stage. Uh, but it's been a decent season. William Wilson Fortes has picked up the top goal scorer. Uh, Adrian's got lots of assists from right back as well. We've got the best goalkeeper in the league in terms of clean sheets, which is, is good to see. So I do have, obviously, the off-season to play through now. We've got some wheeling and dealing to do. Hopefully move on some of the players who, who don't really feature for me. Uh, see if I can bring some replacements in of course uh, we do have the two wingers and the, the the backup striker all on loan so that's a position these are positions that really I need to to be filling I don't think we're too bad the rest of the pitch uh, maybe maybe uh, uh, no in fact I don't think we're too bad I think it's just these three positions that we need to fill so I'm going to go and try and do that now guys but uh, yeah thank you very very much for being here uh, for this season I'm we'll be back at the uh, the start of the second season in France where hopefully we can uh, we can take the challenge to PSG but yeah guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time cheers guys mm -hmm.